Today we're speeding up Linux in a very easy way of doing it, especially in newer kernels. So if you're using a really old version of Linux, uh, you probably don't want to use this method. I have an old method for old systems, but uh, this is really meant for desktop users. And you might be thinking, how do you just magically make 5 to 30% performance increase? And that's mainly because Linux is made for servers and virtual machines. That's where most of the Linux adoption happens. Like I'd say 99% of all Linux falls into those two spaces. So everything is kind of geared towards that. There's specific mitigations in place, Spectre, Meltdown, and some other things that basically reduce performance but increase security. Well, if you're a desktop user, you don't really need any of these mitigations because you're not sharing any services and you're also not using it as a virtual machine. So why would you, uh, why would you use these mitigations? And the answer is you wouldn't. So I've done a couple benches starting off. I took my first benches from here without mitigations at 1367 and a multi-core score of 80, uh, 8248 right here. I'm just using Geekbench because it's probably the easiest, most universal benchmarking just to give you an overall feel. And you can see this is the Ryzen 5, 5600, six cores, 12 threads. And this is really the score I've done before any tinkering. Now I've done a little bit since uh, and obviously tried out these mitigations to see, hey, does it really matter? And obviously it does. So after mitigations, I got this. I'm gonna rerun this score just to make sure I can replicate this right here. So we can do that easily coming from an article. All we're doing is just turning these mitigations off through this simple command line. Now this used to be kind of insane, like using these all these flags from make Linux fast again. Yeah, that's like it, so old. And I think the last time I talked about this, I mentioned that, uh, but we don't need to do that. Just mitigations off. And if you're using Fedora, Arch or Debian, just install Grub Customizer and do it through here. I, on my website, I probably should update it to just reference this, but come to general settings, just type mitigations off and then just click save. You'll see that it'll write out uh, all those customizations. Once it's done, you just come here and reboot your machine. So I'll go ahead and reboot. Uh, so we get a nice fresh uh, run on the Geekbench score and we'll see if uh, this makes any difference. And then we just come into our downloads folder. From here, I installed Geekbench just to, into here and we'll just run Geekbench 5 and let this run through and we'll get a good baseline. Now I should have probably waited a little bit for some of the startup items to kind of taper off, but I think we're still going to kill that beginning score before I did the mitigations. And there we go. Just as I anticipated, the scores remain the same. So we'll hit yes and we'll claim that on my Geekbench. So we've done that just to show you again the reference for scores. Uh, the old score, you can see multi-score actually went up a little bit. This one went up a little bit, but the mitigations before mitigations was this guy right here. So pretty darn impressive that one, the single score went up as much as it did, but especially on two, three-year-old systems, this is going to be a substantial uptick uh, compared to this. But I have one more thing that really got me thinking about speeding up lower end Linux systems, and it's something pretty special. So let me show you real fast. So the Steam Deck finally came in for me, and this is something I didn't want the demo model, I didn't want anything, I wanted the full consumer experience. So I paid for all of this, and I just never told anybody because I was so let down by Steam Machine, Steam OS was just hot garbage. I mean, just all of the stuff Steam's done in Linux uh, for actual consumers, regular consumers, has been bad. This is my first experience that has been good with Steam. And I was kind of a naysayer. And after dealing, I've, I've been on this for about 48 hours now, the Steam Deck's been really amazing. But one thing that shocked me was how unpolished the desktop and a lot of the mitigations and things like I talked about in this video weren't done to this. And there's so much room for improvement. It's already incredible. If you are at all a Linux gamer, what are you doing? Buy it. I mean, come on. 
<laughs> it's amazing. But I can't wait to see what this looks like in a year or two and the tweaks that I'm going to do to it. I'll definitely be making some videos uh, benchmarking it because I am beyond impressed. But again, I just want a little teaser for the next video on Wednesday, giving my first impressions of this. Uh, from a consumer standpoint, not someone with special privilege. Uh, and I got to tell you, wow. But with that, uh, yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments section, and I'll see you in the next one.